Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, uh, this is the follow-on from the first episode, so we are into the second episode. Where on the f uh, previously we, f we showed uh, three different marks around the uh, River Mersey. Well, it's not actually in the river, but uh, it's just like around the river. Now, uh, the last, uh, last mark was the Perch Rock. Now we're going right into the river and I show you uh, some of the cod marks. Uh, we'll concentrate on the cod marks this episode. And uh, hopefully uh, you find it useful and uh, might help some of you uh, who is not uh, familiar with the area and uh, hopefully get you onto the fish. Okay, uh, let's uh, move on to the uh, first mark uh, I'm going to show you now. Our first mark, cod mark, is a very well known mark. Is town hall steps, and um, one of the most popular venue on the River Mersey. And he does produce uh, hot codlings here in the winter. When I fish this area, this sort of mark, I tend to uh, park around here after I think 5 pm in the weekdays. Uh, you can park uh, on the actual town hall building here. But I tend to park along here near the bath and I walk through through these uh, woods, through the trees and get on the promenade. I've seen many people park on the uh, promenade but I, I wouldn't suggest you to. Uh, it's, uh, you'll see uh, no parking sign there but people do anyway. Uh, fishing wise, you can fish all along here. From, uh, in front of the town hall, a little bit right here where the sign is. All along here, all the way up, down. Yeah, um, you can fish over high water here, high tide, three or four hours before high tide, and then one or two hours after. This is just going on off my experience, guys. Uh, some people might uh, might uh, say it fishes a uh, different to uh, to what I'm saying, but yeah, this is how I fish anyway. And you can actually fish over low here as well. As you can see, there's a sandbank. Once it ties out, uh, I think three hours after or four hours after, you go onto the sandbank here and uh, fish into the channel here. Uh, it, you you have more chance of catching cod here over low water than high water, I found. Um, rig wise, uh, just, I use uh, my usual rig, uh, Rune and Ledger rig. It's personal preference really. Um, pull a panel or up and over rigs the main uh, cod tricks around here and uh, for the small species dark and uh, white in just usual uh, flapper rigs of all day uh, that's winter but you can uh, your fish is all right in the summer as well uh, just the usual uh, place you get uh, hot bass here as well and uh, last summer People have been uh, catching some nice hounds around here as well, uh, smooth hounds. And uh, all the hoofs. And some uh, little pop toads you get around here as well. Bait wise, just usual uh, worm, worm baits for caught in the winter. Uh, sometimes mix, mix up with the squid. Does well for the cod. Um, in the summer, same again, worms for place, bass, and a peeler crop for smooth arms and and a squid, squid for smooth arms as well. Yeah, and that's it. I think we covered everything. Let's move on to the second mark, guys. Okay, our second cod mark is a sea confetti there. They call it uh, Seacombe uh, Freddy Benz. 
Let me turn this uh, map around and zoom you in guys. Let's start with the parking. The last time I fished it here, I've just parked here in front of the houses. Free parking. Um, on the main car park you have to pay in this way. Um, this park is not there anymore. All fenced up. So you can't get on there. Having said that, your people have been parking all along the uh, prom uh, at night, but you shouldn't be parking there. I wouldn't advise you to. So fishing wise, you can fish all along here. Over high water, you'll see loads of fishermen here and in front of this building there. And this is a, another well-known uh, cod mark. Uh, fish all the way to high water three four hours before and you can actually fish this uh, on the ebbing tide as well uh, all the way down to one hour before low tide then uh, the water gets shallow then uh, but yeah uh, it does produce some nice uh, codling around here and uh, it's been producing uh, recently uh, just odd codlings but the cod fishing been poor this year, so not seeing many reports coming out of this area. But there are some cuts. Worm, worm, uh, worm base does the does best again. Any look or blow look, or the same again, a uh, squid and a uh, look worm wrap will do well for the cod then. Uh, any base for biting. <laughs> Uh, I've not heard anything. I've never fished it uh, in the summer here, so I wouldn't know. But in the winter, yeah, you do get some cotton around here. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, that covers everything, I think. Now, uh, let's move on to the, our third mark. Okay, our third mark is. Woodside Ferry Terminal. It's another one of my uh, favourite winning. Uh, I've fished a few times uh, this winter. And uh, this is where I caught my first ever codling. Uh, not this season, season before. Uh, one of my favourite mark. And now all this seems to produce, but this particular mark it gets really snuggy. Uh, especially on a big tide, over over eight meter tide, <laughs> it gets mad. It potentially, um, you get snagged up uh, every cast. All you got to do is just cast uh, cast up tight and let let the let sink. Uh, don't close close the bail arm, or if you're using the multiplier, don't don't close it and let it, let this let just drag away and. Uh, sit on the bottom before you close it so this mark you can fish either floating tide over high water or low water um, parking there used to be a barrier here now that barrier is uh, up so you can actually park in front of here as you can see there's someone parked there already oops zoomed in too much okay there we go there's someone there parked up already so you can park on the prom still you don't have to but um i've seen the uh, police uh, came and uh, they, they didn't say anything so as long as you're good and not leaving rubbish around there's a rubbish bin there yeah um, this place produced some nice cod cod limbs and a uh, good uh, good mark for conga as well you do get some nice congas here uh, all along here really uh, if i say fish in this corner it, it would be a line so Worm and a squid base for cod again. I'm not sure. Crab might do all right here. Some people use a crab and crab and a lookworm wrap. Some uses a 
we're going to split by years uh, look worm or split on a black look rock low look does well as well yeah yeah um, rig-wise just usual with what I said on the previous maps um, running ledger rigs up and over or bully panel is a personal, personal preference guys that's it this is the other mark if if obviously uh, no parking left here along the front I think I could possibly park along here and just a short short stroll down to the promenade there or that's the main uh, ferry car park it's a pay and display well, if you want to be safe and leave your car there you can do that's it guys this is the third uh, codling mark I, I go to let's move on to the fourth mark which is the last uh, last mark for this episode okay guys uh, our last cod mark is a mighty cod corner okay parking wise here um, this is a registry office if you go in before five o'clock in the week don't park it here because they close the gate um, just avoid parking there where is that going about this yeah this is where i park here uh, another pay and display i think four four pound fifty for the day and then park here and let us roll get along the front here and you can fish this corner here or here to be honest all this is the most snuggest uh, cod marks in there in the, on the river yeah um, same again fish over high water uh, is better here um, I never I never caught a cod in here but um, it's a well well known um, cod mark uh, you do get um, some conga eels as well just usual dogfish and white in yeah um, that's it guys and the same rig supplies for this mark and the baits okay guys uh, this is it for this episode uh, hope you enjoyed it and maybe picked a couple of tips of it uh, fingers crossed uh, for that cod uh, if you haven't caught one yet yeah um look out for the third episode and uh, that will be the probably the last episode for this uh, uh river mercy fishing marks yeah guys uh hope you enjoyed it and uh i'll see you on the next one don't forget to like and uh, subscribe guys uh much appreciate it uh, see you soon guys thanks for watching